Sometimes in Prot, you have a lot of sound objects and you want to save all of them. The normal procedure is to select every single one, go up to save, save as a wave file, save it, and then do that for every single sound. If you're like me, you don't want to do this. So instead, what you can do is use this script to save all the sounds you have selected in the same directory. So let's run it. I'm going to run this script and now it asks me for the file path. So let's put all those sounds in here. So on a Windows machine, this is really easy. I can just go up to the address bar here, copy it, and then paste it right in. I don't know exactly how to do that on Mac, but you Mac users can probably figure it out. Now that I have that typed in there, I'm going to press OK. It's going to ask me to select all the sounds I want to save. I'm going to select all of them. Hit continue. And suddenly, there they are. Now there's one thing you should be concerned about though as you're using the script, just to be careful. Now normally if I'm doing this manually, if I select the sound, go up and save it, and attempt to save it, it's going to say, wait a minute, that sound already is there. Do you want to overwrite it? Do you want to replace it? And in this case, I might not want to, but maybe I do. I'll say yes. But if I'm running the script, and I again save all those sounds in the same folder, it's not going to ask me that question. It's just going to overwrite them all. So you do want to be careful that when you save this sound, that you're not accidentally overwriting something that's already there, but that you want to keep. And another little piece of customization you might want in the script is to actually alter the name on the way out. So all of these sound objects just have a one word name to them. And what if I want to add something to the file name? So it's going to save it using the directory I input, and then this file path separator, the name itself, .wave. But what if before .wave, I want to put new version? Because maybe I just changed these sounds and I'm going to overwrite them, or save them rather, um, as a new version. So if I run this script, again type in my directory, select only a few of these sounds. Let's select hike, dish, heat, and pool. Now if I go back to my directory, you know, hike, heat, dish, and pool now have something called new version. So hopefully you can use this script to save yourself some time. Instead of pointing and clicking on every individual sound, uh, now you can save all your objects into the same directory using this simple script.